professionals and beautiful jewelry, there's an event coming up for you. That is a highly unusual combination of things if but you I just love both a, of them. I bet there's a lot of people Even out there who ex do. Exactly. <laughs> the Minnesota Zoo is partnering with J.B. Hudson Jewelers uh, to help save wildlife. Mm -hmm. This Thursday, J.B. Hudson's flagship store on Nicollet Mall in downtown Minneapolis is going to have a great uh, fundraiser hosting Jewels of the Wild. It's a day-long celebration featuring unique animal-themed jewelry and then some real visitors from the Minnesota Zoo. So cool. Joining us now on Mid-Morning, we have Kevin Weir from the Minnesota Zoo, along with Josh Lay, and Bruce Heisinga from J.B. Hudson. Thank you all so much for coming in. We appreciate it. Yeah, Thank you. All right, let's start with the armadillo. <laughs> the armadillo is all squirmy. Yeah, so this is Catalina. Catalina. She is a three-banded armadillo, and they are native to South America, Brazil in particular. Is she friendly? And she? she is, and you guys can, are welcome to touch. You want to touch them on the right back? on the back. And that's where the three bands are located. Okay. That's how we differentiate between different types of armadillos. Uh, here in the United States, we have nine banded armadillos. Down in the southern U.S., they get much bigger. They get pretty big, right? Yeah. She is actually full size. Many people oh. think she's small. She is full size. Her advantage is by being small, she can curl up into a ball. Yeah. And the head and the tail come together, and she's perfectly protected. Wow. She looks like a bocce ball. She's about the size <laughs> yes. of a bocce ball. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Cool and it's very fun to watch her walk. Um, <laughs> her front that. feet have developed claws for digging. Wow. And so it kind of looks like she's always up on her tippy toes it a does. little bit. And the cool thing about these guys is um, three banded armadillos are only considered threatened in the wild, but there are many species that are very much endangered um, mm. the giant armadillo in Brazil and the giant <laughs> anteater. And the, at the zoo, we're big on conservation and we're directly connected with some research going on right, right now it's in so, Brazil. It's so cool to see you know, the exotic animals up close. And then, of course, the partnership that you have brings mm. some of those exotic animals almost to life in the jewelry. Tell me about the partnership. So, um, He's actually explaining the event. I can tell you about the jewelry. Yeah, we'd love yeah. to hear about the jewelry. So um, we have pulled together a collection of many different animal items. Um, I had said, Bruce, that you guys were going to bring in a giraffe. And luckily, <laughs> and it's not did. an animal giraffe. <laughs> it is a pendant <laughs> over there. It's beautiful. Yeah, and um, this is very unusual. This is um, a necklace made of porcupine quills. Oh, wow, that's very cool. Which would look great on you. Oh, I mean, I'll oh. I mean, try it, it on. Yeah. <laughs> is that what you're well, saying? Well, Kylie okay. tries that on. Josh, tell okay. us about the event. How's it going to yeah, work? Yeah, we're really store? excited to be partnering with JB Hudson Jewelers. Um, so the event is from 10 until 5 um, at their Nicollet Mall store. And to be honest, um, like Kevin was saying, we're really into conservation over at the Minnesota Zoo. We're leading efforts in Namibia to save the last free-roaming population of black rhino. Uh -huh. um, we're doing work in uh, Mongolia with the last true Asian wild horse. Um, and so this partnership, it's really great for us to get out in the community and work with really great folks. Um, all of the proceeds from the day-long event from 10 until 5, a portion of that proceeds will actually go back to the Minnesota Zoo to help oh, cool. us continue to save wildlife around the world. So we're, we're really thrilled to be working with these guys. What so, are some of your other favorite pieces over there, Bruce? Well, this is a vintage salamander. Oh, wow. Completely covered in opal. Beautiful. That's which really I think is cool. pretty amazing. Yeah. yeah. And this really, the jewels will appeal to the animal lover, but so will the cause, of course, knowing that you're able to help the animals at the zoo. Right, right. and just to make the point that um, the percentage of sales is on anything, so you don't have to buy an animal piece. You can buy whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you yeah. want. They're still helping out. Really good. Very it is very cool. generous. I mean, it ends up, obviously, when you're dealing with jewelry, it can end up being a fairly sizable donation to the zoo, too. Yeah, absolutely. And it's really cool because they have pieces for everyone. I mean, they have pieces starting as low as $75, so yeah. you don't have mm -hmm. to go in there and expect to spend thousands of dollars. They really do have something for everyone, which is really amazing. I love that. And we got to meet a really cool armadillo, <laughs> we'll today. armadillo And you'll have some animals in, in uh, the store as well, Jewels yes, of the Wild. Yes, we will. It's Thursday, this Thursday, September 22nd. Starts 10 in the morning, goes till 5 at night at J.B. Hudson Jewelers, 5, uh, 901 Nicollet Mall in downtown Minneapolis. So go to WCCO.com slash links. We have all the information there. Thanks, guys. This is a really great Thank effort. You. We really Thanks appreciate it. Us. Very cool event. And to